Partly cloudy skies and a light chop greeted the 42 women on the start line of this year's World Cup in Malulaba. The elite women took to the water and after over 2,000 age group athletes had wrapped up their race in the morning, leaving plenty of triathlon fans on hand to cheer the women on. American veteran Laura Bennett, who spends her winters in Australia, finished fourth at the Beijing Olympic Games, led the women out towards the first swim boy with countrywoman Sarah Gruff right on her feet. Keeping pace with the Americans were Great Britain's Liz Blatchford and Australia's Felicity Sheedy Ryan. Bennett continued to string the group of 42 women out through the 1500 meter swim, and by the time the leaders exited the water, two distinct groups had formed. Bennett was first out of the water with a time of 20 minutes and 40 seconds, with a large group of chasers just a few seconds behind. Noticeably absent, however, was the leader from last year, Kirsten Sweetland of Canada, who exited the Pacific almost one full minute behind Bennett. On to the first of seven hilly laps on the bike, Blatchford took charge of the lead group of 13, while Germany's Ricardo Lisk led the chase group of seven women. A third group of 12 lagged behind by a further 25 seconds. As the women neared the halfway point of the seven lap bike, Blatchford continued to do most of the work with a little help from British athlete Jody Stimson. Further back reigning ITU World Duathlon champion, Vindula Frantova led the chase group of athletes with Sweetland right on her wheel. The lead group seemed to be in no hurry to pull away from the pack behind them with a number of women sitting up, not taking their pulls. The pace of the leaders slowed dramatically as a result, and by the final lap, the chase group, now led by Sweetland, began to take big chunks of time out of the leaders. Once again, Bennett was the first to enter the transition zone, led by the top group of 18 women out onto the run. Just behind the American were Stimson from Great Britain, New Zealand's Debbie Tanner, and the Canadian Kathy Tremblay. Frontova led the chase group of women into the transition zone, carrying a 30-second deficit, along with Sweetland and a group of 10 other girls. Five kilometers into the run, a lead group of six women had emerged, led by South Africa's Kate Roberts. Keeping Roberts' company were Stimson from Great Britain, Japan's Tomoko Sakamoto, Latchford, Tanner, and from the Netherlands, Lisa Mense. Frantuva pulled within 25 seconds a leader at the halfway point of the run and was moving noticeably faster than the rest of the field. With just one lap to go, Frantuva pulled within 10 seconds of Sakimoto and Latchford, who now were all by themselves at the front. As the top three women made the final turn towards the finish, it was clear that Frantova had the freshest legs and she surged away from the two women who had led the majority of the run. The 26-year-old Czech, who's been racing triathlon since she was 16 years of age, stopped the clock in two hours, three minutes, 16 seconds to earn her first World Cup win. Frantova made up for the lackluster swim of the day's fastest run, 35-54. 12 seconds later, Sakimoto, the reigning Asian champion, crossed the line to net her first ever World Cup podium. Blatchford rounded out the top three, finishing 16 seconds back. I was definitely, I wasn't waiting. We worked really hard, and but in the beginning of the bye, the gap was still the same, but in the second part, the gap uh, star started to be uh, we close. Uh, we were closer and closer. So then I started to run and hope that I can do it. So smiles all around as Ventula Frantova takes her first ever World Cup win, with Sakamoto a first timer on the podium, and Blatchford ending a four-year drought with her bronze.